Spring Thunder is brought to you by the National Wild Turkey Federation, Woodhaven Custom Calls, Federal Premium Ammunition, Muddy Outdoors, ScoutHookWeather.com, and Cabela's. Thanks for joining us this week on Cabela's Spring Thunder. It is early February now, and a lot of you are probably starting to get your turkey calls out of the vest, starting to practice a little bit because it won't be long and turkey season will be here this spring. With that being said, I wanna give you a few tips from live wild hens on this week's episode. And uh, the first one is learning how to mimic the plain yelp of the lonesome hen. And in this piece of footage right here that Eric Barber got last spring, this hen comes into the setup and what she's doing is the plain yelp of the lonesome hen. It's three to five notes and then she's pausing for an extended period of time trying to listen for a response and then she's coming back with the same call again. After she does this several times without getting a response from another bird in the area, she increases that volume and intensity of her call to try to reach out there a little bit further. When those hens are trying to find a gobbler, this is the first call that they're gonna resort to. The next call we're going to show you is the cutting of the excited hen. Our callers have brought in this hen to their setup. She's coming in and she's popping two to three notes off um, real aggressively. She's looking for that intruder, that hen that's in her area that she's not familiar with. And as she comes in, her aggression level goes up. You can even hear her in some spaces purring loudly and aggressively in between her cuts. If you hear this in the woods, it's time as a caller to increase your intensity and bring that bird into you. A lot of times they'll have a gobbler in tow. The last call we're going to touch on is the cluck and purr, the whines, the real soft stuff. And this is great technique to use mid-morning when the hens have gone quiet, they're with the gobblers, early season especially. And on today's show, we've got a perfect example of that working in the woods. Last year, Jeff Bryant took out a youth hunter, Austin McAllister, trying to get him his first turkey in North Carolina. On opening day, it's early season, the toms are henned up, and you'll just have to see what happens. He's up on top, probably. Is he gonna cross, is he gonna work his road? He's gonna work the road, but let's go down another, to the next ditch. And we look from there. How far are we from where it bottoms out? We're not 50 yards. So you think he's up there on the hill? He's up on the hill. That's where it sounds. Where we'll get on from. one side of the road or the other. Right. And just try to. Let's see. Ready. Yeah. Just throw the decoy right in the road. You think? Oh yeah. Yeah. Do not 
not move if that hen sees us, we're done. He's right here at us, buddy. Get ready. Turns around and we're shooting in the head, okay? You ready? Wait, wait, wait. Here we go, I'm on. Shoot him. Boom, yeah! What? Give us some love, boy! Oh, first turkey! Ah. <laughs> what about it, Daddy? Oh man, that's all. All I knew is I squeezed that trigger and I looked and he was down. <laughs> First timer. I don't even know what to say. That's good. <laughs> that's perfect. That's even better. Was your chest pumping? Your heart pumping? Yeah. Speed out of your chest? Well, you broke into 20 gauge right here this morning with that federal third degree and that bird did not even, he didn't even roll around. He just said, whoo. Yeah. We set up in your food plot kind of above his roost area this morning and he didn't want to come over here. He stayed on the other side of the farm, kind of across. This is really, we're sitting on a dam right here, an old dam that uh, that cuts between two ponds. And uh, he, they, he actually uses this dam, this roadway to get from one part to the, to the other and they're scratching and tracks all along this road so his thought was if we got set up down here in this bottom uh, in this little bottleneck that we could call him from one place to the other and uh, it wasn't long after that first call in the Woodhaven he popped out on the hill there but he took his ever living time didn't he? and ain't no doubt huh you think this is your last time yeah first, <laughs> first of many pretty good awesome uh, first time yeah, oh, yeah. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this week's episode of Cabela's Spring Thunder. Um, this is going to conclude our off-season series. We'll uh, start up our regular Spring Thunder programming towards the end of the month. It'll be the last Monday in February when we'll start up the weekly episodes. We'll be coming to you from the NWTF convention with lots of new turkey products to get you fired up for this spring. But hope you enjoyed this week's show. We'll see you next time for the next episode of Cabela's Spring Thunder.